Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make this thriller title reveal for your next true crime web series. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process from making the assets to the final animation. We're gonna use some simple After Effects techniques to create all of this. So with that said, let's begin. Let's talk about the assets first. The first thing I did was collected a whole bunch of different face pics that we're going to be using as an image sequence. I basically took them into Photoshop and resized them. That's all I did for these pictures. Then I made these different fingerprint images using different brushes and pictures. This is going to be also used as an image sequence. Other than this, I also collected some different texture and road images. And last but not least, this light leak which we're going to be using as a transition element when we're going to be switching between different comps. So in After Effects, I imported all of these assets. I created a 4K comp, which is 3840 by 2160. I did this cause we're going to be scaling into this comp and I wanted this to be quite crisp, but you guys can go down a bit low. Just don't go too low. I imported this road pick and scaled it down to fit inside the comp. After this, I added an adjustment layer and renamed it CC for color correction. Then I added the curve effect to add a bit contrast to the image. I threw in a tint effect and changed the black color to more of this steel gray color to give the image an interesting color grade. After this, I added a shape layer and started drawing this circle to imitate somebody is pointing towards this area. Once happy, I added the trim path and animated it to get that right on effect. I selected the keys and just easy ease them. I duplicated this a whole bunch of times and scattered them throughout the pick with different scale values. Once this was done, I added another shape layer and started drawing an arrow with two different shapes. I added two different trim paths and animated them to reveal the arrow. And just like before, I duplicated them a whole bunch of time and scattered them all around. I did need to change the direction of couple of the shapes in those arrows, but it wasn't too bad. Now, no thriller is completed without the mark of an X. So I created another shape layer and basically repeated the whole process like previously with the arrow. After this, I sequenced all these layers and this is what we get. Then I added this text and changed the fonts to Notesaya. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a nice hand-drawn type of font, which I think looks really good on this piece. The problem was it didn't have enough thickness, so I had to add some with the type stroke. After this, I opened the text layer and added the opacity operator. I set the opacity to zero, then open up the range selector and animated the offset from zero to 100. I easy the keyframes open up the advanced properties and set the smoothness to zero. I duplicated the text layer and again scattered it like the rest of the elements and also offsetted them. After a RAM preview, this is what we get. I wanted to add a bit of a roughen look to all of these elements, but adding roughen edges to all of them will take a toll on my PC. So I pre comped them and then added the roughen edges effect with a really small value. After this, I added a white solid beneath the color correction layer and added the fractal noise effect. I changed the fractal type to max and noise type to block. Then I open up the transform properties and unchecked uniform scaling. Then played with the scale width and height to get this sort of boxy look. 
Then I adjusted the brightness and contrast to give this a more contrastic look. After this I added another adjustment layer and put it over the CC layer and added the Venetian blind effect. I played with different values to get the scan line look. At this point I totally forgot to animate the fractal noise. So I animated the evolution with a time expression and also animated the offset turbulence from left to right. I lowered down the fractal noises opacity to around 50% and after a RAM preview this is what we get. For the second shot I created another new comp and after that I went into the face peaks image sequence, changed the frame rate to 6 and looped it couple more times. Then I created another shape layer and scaled it down to fit as a background for this image sequence. Also parented this to the image sequence. After this I created another shape layer stroke to cover the identities of these people, thrown in some roughen edges and parented it to the image sequence too. I threw in a tint effect and then dragged this crime scene peak inside this comp. I adjusted both of these elements position and size till I was happy with it. After this I animated the crime scene photo from going top to down and did a simple easy ease on these keyframes. At this stage I dropped another grungy texture as a background. Then I masked the edges of this crime scene pic to blend it better with this grunge image. I went back to the previous comp and copied the three adjustment layers and paste it over into this comp. And this is our second shot done. Now for the third shot. For this one I just took a 1080p comp. I added a text layer and like before animated an opacity operator. I did change the randomize order to on so the letters appear randomly. After this I added a tracking modifier and animated the tracking amount. I played with both of the operator's keyframe till I was happy with it. And this is our title done for now. We're gonna come back to this later. I dropped both the shot 2 and 3 over this comp and set the shot 2's blending mode to add. I played with both of the comp size and position then added a mask over shot 2 and feathered it a bit to blend it better. I pre-combed the text layer and created another new 1080p comp. I went to the fingerprint comp and like before set the frame rate to 6 and looped it a couple more times. I imported this into the fprint comp and then started duplicating it and scattering it all over the comp to basically fill it. Once done, I dragged this into our short 3 comp, fill it with a white color and set it to track mat our type comp. After this I duplicated the type comp and split it after a few seconds and then animated its opacity from 0 to 100 so we can get our regular title back. So with this much things going on in the background, it's really hard to read the title after the reveal. So to counter that, I added an adjustment layer with a curve and a Gaussian blur effect. And over time, I animated the curve going down to make the image more darker and the Gaussian blur going up to make it more blurrier. This will help make the title stand out more from the background. The final shot is really easy. For this, I created a new 1080p comp, then dragged in three of our shots inside along with our light lake footage. After this, in the first shot, I started animating its position and scale properties, then turned all the keyframes to hold keyframes. I animated this comp scale value over time to get a bit of that zoom out feel while the map is getting revealed. 
Then I lined up the second shot and basically animated its scale going up, giving us this slight zooming in effect. After this, I just lined up the third shot and with this one, it was just added. No additional animation was needed. Now you guys can see these three shots are edited with hard cuts. One ends and another one starts immediately. Now it was time to hide these cuts. The first thing I did was tinted the light leak element to match our composition and then right click over it and went to time, time stretch and used a time stretch of 25% to speed it up. Then I lined up the brightest part of this light leak to the exact cut in the timeline. Change the blending mode to add and we are done. Now since we have Venetian blinds inside of this comps, if I toggle the transparency, you can see this makes this entire comp a bit washed out. So to counter that, I just added a same blue color solid to the background. An adjustment layer with some noise was added to tie everything up, along with another adjustment layer with quick chromatic abrasion 3 applied to add some chromatic abrasion. By the way, Quick Chromatic Abrasion 3 is a free plugin, link is in the description. With all of this done, this is our final title reveal. There is so much potential to customize this reveal to your heart's content, so don't afraid to experiment with different looks. I have linked the majority of the assets down in the description, so you guys can collect them all. The only thing which is not included is the fingerprint image sequence, but you can collect similar free stuff from anywhere from the net. If you choose to download this same file, you can collect it from my Gumroad page and you will be helping this channel to make more tutorials like this. I'm really sorry for not posting soon. As I stated in my community post, my PC got crashed. I'm still recovering the data. So thank you all for being so patient with me. As always, if you like this tutorial, give it a like, share it, and for more motion graphics goodness, do subscribe to Motion Nerds. Take care of yourself, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.